Determining the start value for silver bars, there are five A value parts, each worth 0 0.10. There are four special requirements, each worth 0 0.50. Restricted elements include no B or higher value parts, no giants on the low bar or the high bar, and no salto dismounts. If a restricted element is performed, deduct a minus 0 0.50 from the start value. Determining the start value for silver bars when there is no dismount. The deduction is a minus 0.3 for no dismount, as well as a minus 0.5 for the dismount special requirement deducted directly from the start value when the following occurs. If the dismount has no value part, it's not listed in the code of points or it is a restricted skill for silver. If the uh, gymnast falls and never initiates a dismount action, or if the routine is terminated early and there's no dismount, you would also would apply the minus 0 0.30 and the minus 0.5 special requirement uh, for no dismount directly from the start value. You do not take the minus 0.3 deduction from the start value in the following situations. If the coach spots the dismount, or if the gymnast initiates a dismount but falls and doesn't land on the feet first, or if the dismount does not meet the division criteria. Special requirements. There are four special requirements. Special requirement number one is a mount. Special requirement number two is a cast to a minimum of 45 degrees below horizontal or higher, not including the mount or the dismounts. Special requirement number three is a 360 degree circling skill, which does not include the mounts or the dismounts. Special requirement number four is a dismount from the low bar or the high bar and cannot include saltos. Silver bar special requirement clarifications. There is an update to the wording for silver cast angle to include a cast to a minimum of 45 degrees below horizontal or higher. Only the wording changed, the angle did not change. And so if they are still within 10 degrees of the, the division requirement, they would still receive the special requirement and deduct 0 0.10 for amplitude for the one time. Silver bar element clarifications. Cast. The following skills may not be used to fulfill the cast special requirement and they only receive one A value part. A cast squat on, a cast stoop on, or a cast straddle on is one value part and it cannot be used to fulfill the cast special requirement. The cast squat on, stoop on, or straddle on, also with a jump to the high bar, a cast shoot through, or cast off to stand, which is an element for bronze only, none of those items may be used to fulfill the cast special requirement and each of them only receive one A value part. Silver bars cast or element clarifications for the underswing to stand or the toe on to stand dismounts. For the underswing to stand dismount, if there is a cast prior to the underswing dismount and it's within 10 degrees of the division requirements, it would be two separate skills and the cast would receive the special requirements for the cast angle requirements. If there is a toe on to stand dismount and there's a squat on um, before the dismount, again, that is two separate skills, but that one does not meet the cast special requirement. Short exercises. New this year, if a routine has fewer than three value parts, there is a neutral deduction from the average from the chief judge of a minus 2.0. Silver reminders. Casts that receive value parts and short casts that do not receive value parts are different connections. There are no extra swing deductions. However, they are subject to execution and up to a 0.10 for rhythm deductions. After a fall, a coach may push the gymnast, there's no penalty, and developmental cast angle deductions are not applied and will not be used. Additional A skills available for silver bars are listed on the code of points bars elements page one. There are a variety of skills available for the silver division, and new this year is the jump to clear support with the immediate back hip circle. Bar apparatus. For mounting purposes, the gymnast is allowed to build up regulation mats as needed to mount the low bar and is allowed to put a mount trainer on top of the mats. For dismount purposes, the maximum allowed of allowable matting includes 9 inches on top of the landing mats. If a springboard is used, it is not allowed to be placed on an 8-inch cushion. 
If a springboard is also used, it must be pulled after the mount, otherwise it is a 0.3 neutral deduction taken by the chief judge. Silver bar reminders. For steps, there is the new 0.15 medium steps on landings. For balance errors leading to a fall, you would only deduct the 0.50 for the fall. If there's a deep squat followed by a fall, you would take the up to 0.3 deduction if it's a deep squat with the hips lower than the knees plus 0.50 for the fall. If the coach is, uh, is standing between the bars during the entire exercise, there is no deduction. The coach is allowed to stand there. And of course, there's dynamics throughout the routine, which is taken. It can be up to 0.20. Rhythm on each individual skill is up to 0 0.10. Additional silver bar reminders. Failure to maintain hand contact on a two-part mount on the bar will result in a flat 0 0.10 deduction. If there are two glide swings in a row without touching the floor, it is equivalent to one element. If there is a two-part mount, that's okay. If there's a third element involved in the mount, it would receive no value part credit plus execution deductions for the third skill. A cast squat on equals no value part if the athlete steps up one foot at a time. And there are no specific deductions for resting the chin on the bar. You can take excessive arm bend and rhythm, but there is no deduction listed in the code of points for literally just putting the chin on the bar. If the gymnast inadvertently touches the coach, there is no penalty, and there is a courtesy score for Excel of 4.00. That ends our rapid review for silver bars. Get ready to judge routines.